failing has become critical in my growth. I had fallen so flat on my face for the first time in my life. I was depressed, asking myself why, why, why me? How can this happen? I work so hard. Hard work pays, I always thought. It's not paying for me. I got nothing. I literally had seven bucks in my pocket, so my seven dollar story. That failure, rising from that to say, it's not over for me. I'm immediately gonna launch myself into training for professional wrestling. I couldn't have launched myself with that type of training that I did every day for hours in a boxing ring that was stiff like concrete every day for hours. I couldn't have launched myself with that type of mentality had I not fallen on my face after 10 years of football failed. A failed football player who wound up moving back in with his parents at 24. You're moving from point A to point B in your little circumscribed world. You've made everything invisible. And as long as that works, then your theory's good enough. It's accurate enough. It's true enough. You're in your little paradise. But if something comes up and objects, well, that's where your character is tested fundamentally. That's the character test. It's like, what do you do with messages of error? Don't second guess yourself and don't be so afraid of failing that you create excuses instead of producing results. Failure is designed to teach you a lesson. Keep pushing forward and learn from the failures and move forward with a purpose. Because you can look up and days, weeks, months, years can go by and you can go, I've been tiptoeing around here, not committing to anything for so long, I'm missing out. Sometimes it's not even about what choice we make. Just make a choice and commit to it and go and dive in. You're all right, man. You're okay. Learn from it. Don't dwell on it. Move on and go do something really positive in the world. I have failed in bodybuilding. I've, I, I lost bodybuilding competitions. I lost powerlifting competitions. I lost weightlifting competitions. I had movies that went in the toilet and that were terrible and got the worst reviews. And in politics, I remember, I had many of the initiatives on the ballot and we lost. My approval rating in California went down to 28%. And then it went back up again and they won again the governorship. Hey, we all lose. We all have losses. This is okay. And this is why I say don't be worried about losing because when you're afraid of losing, then you get frozen. You get stiff. You're not relaxed. You got to be in order to perform well in anything, if it's in boxing or if it is on your job or with your thinking, it's only happening when you relax. So relax. It's okay to fail. Let's just go all out and give it everything that you got. That's what it is all about. So don't be afraid to fail. You gotta be kidding me. That is so bad, that is absolutely brutal. So failure decided to show up and pay you a visit. But now you feel that it is over for you. You feel that there is no coming back from this failure. You must understand that failure is required and you must be willing to be humble enough to not just learn from it, but grow from it. You don't deserve a victory without a failure. There can be no victory without a struggle attached to it. Failure does exactly what is necessary to make you better, to put you on a path at the right moment, to be able to build something from the ground up. And just because you fail, it doesn't mean that it's over. Sometimes you got to be able to understand with every step that you are taking moving forward. Sometimes you will get pushed back. 
But when you get pushed back, you come back. You come back strong. You come back with the willingness. You come back with a purpose. Do not be afraid to fail. Failure is required. Champions cannot be champions without failures. You are always worthy of greatness. For greatness is within you. Greatness belongs to you. Even when you feel that you're at the weakest point, you got to understand that these failures are going to do exactly what is necessary to help you to build up, to teach you the lessons in life. To understand that you got to get knocked down a few times. And when that opportunity comes for you to rise up, rise up with a full heart. Rise up understanding that it is not over for you and that you're just learning something about yourself. You're learning something about your journey. You're understanding that no matter what, failure is required. Now sometimes you got to also consider the fact that when these failures come, don't let it confuse you. Don't let it misuse you. Don't just accept it, but understand it. Understand that you got more work to do within yourself. Understand that you got to continue to fight for it. When you start doubting yourself, that's very dangerous. Because now what you're basically saying is, is that if my plan doesn't work, I have a fallback plan, I have a plan B. And that means that you start thinking about plan B and every thought that you put into plan B, you're taking away now that thought and that energy from plan A. And it's very important to understand that we function better if there is no safety net, because plan B becomes a safety net. It says that if I fail, then I fall and I get picked up and I have something else there that, was, that will protect me. And that's not good, because people perform better when there's no safety net. People perform better in sports and everything else if you don't have a plan B. I'm telling you, I've never ever had a plan B. I say I made a full commitment that I'm going to go and be a bodybuilding champion. I made a full commitment that I'm going to be in America. I made a full commitment that I'm going to get into show business and I'm going to be a leading man. No matter what it takes, I will do the work. I will do the work over and over and over until I get it. And the same was in politics and everything like that. So to me, it is very dangerous to have a plan B because you're cutting yourself off from the chance of really succeeding. And the reason, one of the main reasons why people want to have a plan B is because they have worried about failing. What is if I fail, then I don't have anything else? Well, let me tell you something. Don't be afraid of failing because there's nothing wrong with failing. You have to fail in order to climb that ladder. There's no one that doesn't fail. Michael Jordan said in one of his interviews, when they said, you're unbelievable, you're the greatest basketball player of all times. And he says, well, you're just mentioning the successes. But he says, for me to become the greatest basketball player, I missed 9,000 shots when I was playing basketball at the NBA games. So during these games that he was so successful, he missed 9,000 shots. Does it make him a failure? No. He is one of the greatest basketball players of all times, but he failed 9,000 times. Do you get it? We all fail. It's okay. What is not okay is that when you fail, you stay down. Whoever stays down is a loser. 
and winners who fail and get up. Fail and get up. Fail and get up. You always get up. That is a winner. That is a winner. How are you going to separate yourself from everybody else? You keep going. And then after that, you keep going. It's not always making the last shot. It's under pressure doing what you're supposed to do and coming out successful. Kobe and Jordan were my heroes. Every single match, I didn't care who I was playing. They're in trouble before they even lace it up. They always see us doing the easy part, hold the trophy and kiss it. And that's what everybody sees. They don't see the day where you do not feel like going to the gym at all. I do not, nobody can talk me into it, even yourself. You're telling yourself, no, I'm too tired. I'm achy, there's no way I can make it. You gotta go. You know, you have to stick to what you said you were gonna do. You're gonna get knocked down over and over and over. And even when you feel like, no, I can't be hit this hard. Or if you're down there thinking, there's no way I can get up from this. That's when you're just starting. Keep going. And then after that, you keep going. And then after that, you keep going. Because it's about what we do. It's about how we handle the situation. It's not, it's not about what happens to us. Because things are going to happen. How are you going to separate yourself from everybody else. And I always thought anytime it got really incredibly hard, I would think about all the people quitting right now and how they're going to feel in a few years that they're just going to say, man, what if I hadn't have given up? What if I would have kept going? Don't say what if, please, 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 please don't have the what ifs down the road. You keep going now and I'm telling you, You'll be in a better place than you would be if you quit. If you want to be great, oh man, prepare to get up off that mat. The aspirations, the dreams of what it takes, the commitment to hard work, but more importantly, how many lumps you've got to take. That's when your, your survival skills have to kick in and hopefully you've trained enough in, in, in your mental preparation and really believe enough in yourself to get up. Because, you, you know, everybody, I think we always uh, said, the easiest thing to do is hold that trophy. That's the easiest thing to do in this process. And that's only gonna be for a very short amount of time. The work the will, the commitment. Like I said, getting up, not getting up when you're knocked down. I mean, you know, throughout Kobe's career and Michael's career, LeBron's career, Dwayne's career, Magic Johnson's career, there's always going to be these struggles that or, or challenges that you have to get over. And the hardest part is in you trying to be one of the best in the game, there's going to be a tension with it, right? You're put on a pedestal and you fall even harder you know when you do so i really had to learn how much you have to prepare you have to live it you have to want it so bad to where you'll sacrifice those saturday nights or friday nights with your friends you know um you'll sacrifice if 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 you're in high school or something and the, and the dance is this week you know, if there's more dances, hey, I'm going to the gym. <laughs> you know, this is what I'm going to put my time into because this is what I want. And being around all of those great players, getting to see their commitments, see their rituals, see how much they put into the game. I mean, it was uh, 
it was second to none. I always take those processes. If you have a goal, there will be obstacles in your way. You can climb them, you can run around them, you can do everything, but you're going to have to put the work in to make sure uh, that you accomplish your dreams. The most critical piece of advice that I've ever gotten, and I won't name who, was from a coach. One day he just, all he said, and, I, and I'm gonna paint the picture for you. I was a rookie, I'm 19 years old, I'm playing with guys old enough to be my dad. I'm getting thrown around. I'm playing a level of basketball that I, I'm barely hanging on by a nail with, but I'm one of our best players, so I'm playing every night. I want to go home. I'm not used to the cold. I'm just getting, I'm getting beat up, but I wouldn't quit. And I was looking for this piece of advice from someone. And all they told me was just like, they would always tell me, hey man, keep going. Just keep going all the time, every time. And you know, I got so mad because I'm looking for that euphoric that euphoric feeling from the piece of information that they're about to give me right that's what i think we all kind of struggle sometimes looking for that and putting too much pressure on the situation but as i got older as i continued to train as i continued to not give up and not let a loss define me or my character i kept going you know L lose or win i kept going and then it really started to click. What he was telling me was, he didn't have anything to tell me. I cannot, you know, I can't, I can't sugarcoat this ass whooping. It is what it is. You're gonna take your lumps, but if you keep going, if you don't quit, you're gonna get better. And you're gonna get better and you're gonna get better because you're gonna not only see why you're coming up short and get smarter and incorporate these things in your training to get better. You're going to get stronger. You're going to know that you got to yeah, weight lift it, a little different program. You got to stay with it. You just have to get a little older and continue to work. And, you know, I always reflected on that. So anytime it got hard, especially in basketball, I just say, hey, keep going, keep going, keep going. Don't stop. Keep going. And so... Although simple, that definitely ended up being one of the best pieces of advice uh, that I got in my career. You watch basketball, you hear about how clutch people are. And it's not always making the last shot. You know, it's under pressure doing what you're supposed to do and coming out um, successful. So, you know, sometimes it would be a big rebound. Sometimes it would be an assist. Sometimes it would be uh, defense. You know, sometimes it would be not making a fuss if coach subbed me out. You know, anytime I hit a big shot, I mean, you know, everyone would be just like, wow, I would be surprised if I didn't make it. <laughs> you know, I put the work into this like every day, all day. And then when I'm done with it, guess what I do? I dream about it. I visualize it. I see myself being successful. I see myself hitting those shots with no time on the clock, with a little time on the clock. And then I'll do it again and say, hey, what if we're down two? Then I'll do it again and say, what if we're down three? You know, it's a never ending game. And anytime I was successful in those situations, I mean, you know, I would always let people know it's through dedication, through your hard work and through mental preparation and visualization. If you do those things, if you can see yourself being successful in your mind, then it will appear in the physical reality if you're calm and collected when you get the opportunity. Or sometimes we get the opportunity and we rush it. You know, you have to have total just commitment and dedication and just know you have to have faith too because you know, I've worked hard enough to be in this position I'm gonna let my training kick in because I've been here before. You know, I've thought about it. This is what it feels like. 
it's almost crazy because it's deja vu, you know, and, and that's how I tried to kind of approach those situations. So when I was able to be successful, it was a great thing. It's a, it's a regular day. It's a normal day. If I miss it, that's abnormal. That's how I felt. My edge was my intensity. My edge was my focus uh, and my commitment. You know, I put everything into the game. I prepared, um, I dreamt about it, I visualized it. I always prepared myself mentally for whatever is coming. And I felt that that was my edge. Just kind of like I was alluding to earlier, I read books, I felt that was an edge as well. You know, I've read these different books on mental toughness and I'm gonna take nuggets from each one and maybe it'll help me because I know I'm going into a tough situation and it's going to be extremely hard but I'm not going to give up and it doesn't even matter if the other side knows that about me they're in trouble before they even lace it up that's how I felt every single match I didn't care who I was playing and um, you know it kind of spills over into this day Um, you know it's all about work ethic it's all about what you choose to do in life Uh, What is important to you? What is that goal that you're going to identify and go after and say, I'm going to go after this thing wholeheartedly. It doesn't matter what other people say. This is what I feel. It's positive. I love it. You know, the whole world disappears when I do it. And I'm going to channel this thing so I can help myself, so I can help other people. I think, you know, uh, putting everything into finding that, that's kind of what I transfer it to. Uh, to now but like now I just try to you know do it with my work ethic you know be be responsible think about those things that I'm putting my time into and what I want to accomplish while I'm doing these things you know I think that's uh that's where I'm at now but the passion the purpose um you know that never goes anywhere I want you to think about this I'm going into the hall of fame And I grew up playing on a concrete court. 